Today is the 13th of September 2023 and I'd like to introduce you to the topic sequence okay we want to have a look at it okay thank you to everyone and um, who has been watching our videos okay thank you very much please um if you can consider subscribing sharing liking and following i'll really really appreciate that and um, some of this thing i might have to say it up front in the beginning of each video because assuming somebody is watching it for the first time um the or the guests came across the video i might have to guess they might have to listen to this part okay so unfortunately maybe you've heard me say it several times because you've been with me from the beginning but um you can uh, just listen to it for fun or just uh, push the thing a little bit just to escape that part because you've heard it over and over again but it's good to hear it all the time okay so that you'll be on guard now please follow my notes slash scripts i normally write this in the comment section okay why because um something like this this is nine kilograms okay so if i say nine please go by the script okay or if you hear something other than nine kilograms what is on the script is the right one okay like 10.6 percent okay so here it's not 10.6 kilograms and that will not be nine percent okay so if you are not sure of what you are hearing or what i'm saying follow my note or script okay for instance that is a numerator and that's a denominator so if i say a denominator numerator this is of course a denominator okay we've done a lot of videos so by now you should know we've done fraction videos <coughs> <coughs> sorry we've done fraction videos we've done um, a lot of videos so even if you are in the foundation level by now you should be getting um the things together okay um the last bit is these people scammers okay um beware of them don't be scammed okay I will ask you for money to give to a, an orphanage, a charity, a very sick person, cancer patient. If I will donate money for any cause, I'll do it directly. Okay? And if you want to donate your money to a, a hospice or an orphanage that you know of you can go ahead and do it that is your business but don't let people pressure you into giving um, your money to them because it won't be me okay and please um, if you are online just be careful just be careful because these people are all over the place they do it to everybody anyway so be careful and if you are going to subscribe share like or follow and it's not your account please ask for permission first thank you very much okay recap from last lesson we started looking at um plotting coordinates okay and then we look at the points on the graphs okay 
and uh, I talk, spoke to you about eye judgment and to label both axes, the X axis and the Y axis, okay, to label them so that we know what your X axis is and your Y axis is. The marker knows, okay, so if you are doing your GCSE, they know, but maybe they have half mic for just putting those there so it will do you a lot of good if you put it so just develop the right habit now okay we said um use the gradient and y intercept to find the equation of the line so assuming you are given the line you can easily find c which is the y intercept okay now if you can find two points on the line the change in the y value okay the y part of the coordinates divided by the change in x will give you your m then you substitute it y equals mx plus c you will have three points okay and then you can uh, find the equation of that line okay so you can find m if you can find m and you can find c then you can find the equation of the line now so if given an equation of the line okay so the first one they're giving you a line okay then you will use uh, the y-intercept find two points on the line okay and then use it put it in this formula to find the equation the second one you've given an equation okay of that line and you are asked to plot so here the equation of the line you've been given you can easily see the C, which is the y-intercept. Then you go and look for two points on um, the M that you've been given. So you do maybe if S is zero, what would be Y? Okay. And if Y is zero, what would be X? Or if X is one, normally they'll give you an interval so you choose two or three points find the coordinates plot it with your c your y intercept you should be able to plot the line graph then okay so we've done two kinds of work here now that is all I've said. So did you see from the graph or equation? Substitute substitute values for x or y and use coordinates to plot the line for the intervals given. So if they give you intervals, don't go beyond that intervals okay so if they give you plot between 0 to 3 try and limit it to 0 to 3 if they say plot from minus zero, a 3 to 3 positive 3 on both axes then that is the interval you've been given but if you've not been given any interval use sensible scale plot your uh, axis and use convenient points okay to find two or three points okay and then plot the graph plot equal intervals on x and y axis i've explained this and i've stressed this a lot okay don't start 5 10 and then all of a sudden you are doing 12 14 16 
you won't get the right um, equa equation, okay? Try and do equal intervals. Normally, they'll give you a graph paper in the exam, but even if it's classwork, start with a good habit, okay? Use um, plain paper and use eye judgment, okay? And you should be fine. Now, I'll start that for today. Irene weighed 85 kilograms six weeks ago. After making some adjustments, she now weighs 76 kilograms. What is the percentage decrease in weight? Okay. Now, um, this is not judgment on anybody, but after having six weeks holidays, okay, and staying at home, there is a chance that you might uh, gain a bit of weight. Okay, because you've been at home, you've been going on holidays, you've been having fun. But if you go back to school, you are going to walk it off anyway. You are going to climb stairs. If you have a very large school, okay, with a big compound, you are going to be walking maybe from one block to another, getting into lessons. So hopefully, by six weeks, you would have come back to your normal set. So, but Irene here can be a student, a mom, or a teacher, or anybody. Okay, now six weeks ago, this was a weight, so she made some adjustments. Maybe she's working more, or we don't know. She's saying that now she weighs 76 grams, kilograms. So we are asked to find a decrease in weight, okay? I've spoke to you about this before. Six weeks ago, you don't need this information. But at times, they give you too much information so that you get muddied up and not go straight to finding what you want to find. So in this question, all you needed was Irene's former weight, her new weight. That was all you needed. So the decrease in weight is 85 minus 76 kilograms, which is 9 kilograms. Okay. So now the decrease in weight is 9 kilograms. Her old weight is 85. We multiply by 100. Now, I'm going, to, I did this on the calculator, a proper calculator, not my phone calculator. Okay. So when I did this, I got 10.6%. Okay. That was a weight decrease. Okay. So, um, this is the answer. Now, 0.6% is okay unless they've asked us to put it to the nearest whole number because we can have 0.6% of a weight of a person. Okay, so that is okay. Okay, so I hope I've. Um, shine. I think we've done a similar thing in one of our videos percentage increase and change in percentage percentage decrease of stuff okay this is a foundation work but just have a look at it because it can come in both foundation and higher okay but it's a foundation work so if you know it that would be very very good Today, I'd like to talk to you about sequence. I have I've already said sequence or patterns of numbers. Okay, so at times we realize that in mass numbers follow a certain pattern. 
okay so consider the following numbers so you have 6 12 18 24 30 and 36 okay and then you have 42 48 54 60 and i have three dots here okay which i'll explain okay now if you look at the pattern it's an increment of six if you can see okay six at six is 12 at six is 18 at six is 24 at 6 is 30, at 6 is 36, and so on. So, our first term here is 6, and there's an increment of 6, okay? Intervals of plus 6, okay? This is of 6, okay? It's getting bigger, so we have 6. 12 and then we and then we have 18 so it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger in, as we go along that will be our first term second third fourth fifth and so on some increase same in, increase cap of six okay so here is increasing by the same gap it's not like there is an increase of six and then there's an increase of eight and there's an increase of ten and then there's an increase of twelve it is increasing by the same gap okay so we can deduce the next four numbers after 36 that is why I've underlined this, okay? So, the next four numbers after um, 36 plus 6 is 42, plus 6 is 48, plus 6 is 54, plus 6 is 60. And we can go on and on and on, okay? And since it can go on and on and on, you put three dots to show that it goes on and on and on it doesn't stop okay this type of sequence is called an infinite sequence okay it doesn't stop it doesn't it just goes on so as i've said uh, we have they said uh, we said deduce the next four numbers after 36 which i've done there and i've written it here and i've underlined okay each term is separated by a comma okay we, when we we started we did um, a lesson on mathematical symbol we might have in it uh, the use of comma okay and here that is also three dots okay but if it's not there just add it to um, your learning okay but there should be a comma or something because I remember doing some mathematical video in the onset okay now sequence okay so after everything i've said to you sequence is a list of ordered numbers okay whether there's an increment of the same increment or or is decreasing is a list of ordered numbers okay each number is a term so that is the first term, second term, third term. Each of them is looked as a term. 
Remember, we are um, we are doing introduction to sequences. Okay, so each number is a term. So we have the first term, second term, third term, and then we can go to the fourth term. Okay, if it terminates, the end term will be the last term. Okay, or maybe the end term can be like. And the sixtieth term. Okay, so the term before the nth term will be n minus one term. So if this is the sixtieth term, that will be the fifty-nine term. That's what I've written n minus one term. Okay. We need this in case we want to um learn the formula that comes with sequences because at this stage you are going to be introduced to two types i'm going to show you two types of sequences today i'm just introducing you so for instance that is the third term okay so you can you can find the nth term that will be a general formula okay so the nth term can be the 12th term and then the term before the nth term will be the 11th term and the term before um, this n minus 1 term will be n minus 2 term okay so i will really like you to um, think about that carefully now consecutive terms are next to each other so for instance you have first term second term third term the first three term they are called consecutive term or the sixth term seventh term eighth term okay they are consecutive terms or as i've just told you the n minus 2 term the n minus 1 term and the nth term so if this is like the 20th term okay nth term n minus 1 will be the 19th term n minus 2 will be the 18th term okay we need this generalizations to deduce the formula okay to find any term in general or how we can to find the first term or add terms together okay so therefore from the example I've given you 6 12 18 a consecutive term because that is the first plus six second and plus um, another six third 24 30 36 are also consecutive term remember you need three dotted lines not what I've done here you need this if it's continuous okay three dotted lines now two sequences are different because the first term and the difference between terms okay so for instance the first it might be increment of six but the first term is different so they will be different so let's look at this example we have two four six eight ten the first term here is two is increasing by two okay so the first term is two it has a difference of two and it's increasing by two okay so even though this sequence is increasing by two and the numbers are the same the first term is two 
this is decreasing by 2. Okay, so this, this sequence and that sequence are not the same. Okay, so this is also the first term here. And the first term of is 10, but here is decreasing by 2. Okay, so 10 minus 2 is 8, minus 2 is 6, minus 2 is 4, minus 2 is 2, minus 2 is 0, minus 2 is minus 2, and minus 2 is minus 4. Remember, it's three dots. So the first term is 10, and difference of 2. But difference of 2 here now is minus 2. Unlike this, the first term is 2, and difference of 2 by an increase of 2. That seem to have similar numbers. But the first term is 10, decreased by 10. In the same way, this first term is 7, increased by 7. Okay, so first term is 7, difference of 7 plus 7. But if you start from 28, your first term becomes 28. So similar numbers, but different first term. So this is increasing by 7, and that's decreasing by 7. Okay, so that makes the sequences different. Okay, so even though you have similar numbers in this last two examples as well, one is increasing, one is decreasing, and the first term are different. Okay, an infinite sequence continues forever. So we represent it by three dots. As I've shown you um, here. Okay. It continues. You can continue adding six for three days and it will just continue going. Okay. So it's called a sequence like this. Is called an infinite sequence. It doesn't terminate. So this is the word an uh, infinite. Okay. So this is an example two, six, eight. Sorry, two, four. Six, eight, ten. Okay, the four is missing. So two, four, increment of two, and it goes on and on. So this is an infinite okay sequence. In mass, that is the infinity symbol. Okay, you can count even if you get to a trillion. You can always add a one. Okay, a trillion and one, a trillion and two. So you get to the next a big number. So it, it numbers never stop. Okay. So that is an infinite sequence. A finite sequence terminates or it stops. Okay. So they might give you a final sequence like, so in a final sequence, you don't need these three dots. So if they give you a sequence and they give you three dots, it's an infinite sequence. The question that might follow will ask you, what is the increment? Okay, so if the first term here is two, it's an increment of 2. Okay, that's why we have to put the 4 there. And we can find the next 3, 
which will be the consecutive terms. So 12, 14, 16. We can go on and on and on. A final sequence terminator stops. Okay. So here we don't use this dot for this kind of sequence. So there might be like five or six numbers and that will be it. Okay. So a final sequence example is 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Here the rule is plus 3, an increment of 3. The first term is what? Um, 3. The next sequence, this is also finite. 12, 2, 12, 22, 32, 42. Increment of 10 and it stops at 42. It doesn't go on. Here, another sequence, 25, 50, 75, 100. 125 increment of plus 25 okay and it stops at 125 these are finite sequences another example 1 16 31 46 61 increment of 15 First term is 1 and it stops at 61. If it stops, it's a finite sequence. We don't need the three dots. Okay. It's not always increments. As we have seen here, it can also decrease. Okay. So, um, today, I wanted to introduce you to the topic sequence, okay, which tomorrow we'll come back and have another look, okay, and um, see how far we can go, okay. So I did a recap with you from our graphs work that we did from the line graphs using the formula y equals x plus c where m y equals mx plus c where m is the gradient c is the intercept that was our recap and then we had a starter okay and then and uh, we've looked at um sequences so i've shown you a finite sequence and an infinite sequence one stops the other doesn't i've shown you the infinity symbol okay i've shown you consecutive um terms okay the infinity symbol um is there we if it's not stopping we use these three dots a term is separated by this comma here okay and the first term is important and the difference is important whether it's increasing or decreasing and then we'll just look at a sample very nice and easy lesson today okay so thank you very much for watching our video today and I'll see you in the next